हेलो स्टूडेंट्स मैसेल प्रकाश लवांडे श्री तिलोक जैन हायर सेकेंडरी विद्यालय पाथर्डी अहमदनगर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड दैट इज केमिकल काइनेटिक्स सो वील सेड वी विल स्टडी इन डिटेल्ड अबाउट दिस चैप्टर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक ओके सो वॉट दैट केमिकल काइनेटिक्स मीन्स केमिकल मीन्स योर केमिकल रिएक्शन्स बेसिकली एंड काइनेटिक्स मीन्स द मूमेंट और मोशन सो एनीथिंग दैट इज रिलेटेड टू मूमेंट और मोशन ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन दैट इज मेनली वी हैव टू स्टडी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दैट इज केमिकल काइनेटिक्स ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we will see what are the topics that we are going to cover in this particular uh, chapter and the basic important points that we are going to discuss in this particular topic they are first we will start with the introduction okay so we will start with the uh, introduction and then uh, in introduction we will see what is actually chemical kinetics then we will study about the rate of chemical reaction okay then the next point that is rate of reaction and reactant concentration then we will study about the molecularity and molecularity of elementary reaction then your yeah, integrated rate law then collision theory of biomolecular reactions temperature dependence of reaction rate and effect of catalyst on the rate of re reaction so these are the topics that we have to mainly discuss in the chapter so we'll start with today with the introduction now as you know that ki chemical means you are dealing with chemical reactions okay now in chemistry the chemist they are very much interested to know about the three important aspects of chemical reaction so the first aspect of chemical reaction that is the extent of reaction okay so i will explain this uh uh so chemist they are very much interested to know about uh extent of chemical reaction okay so this uh, is what actually you have any chemical reaction so this is this is what this is chemical reaction this is chemical reaction this is chemical reaction okay now as you know that a is a reactant okay a is a reactant and b is the product that is formed okay now in this particular reaction or for any particular reaction the chemist they are interested to know about three important aspects of chemical reaction so aspects aspects of chemical reaction so what are that three aspects about which the chemist are very much interested the first aspect of chemical reaction is nothing but the extent of reaction extent of reaction so what do you mean by extent of reaction so once any reaction start up to what extent up to what extent that reaction proceed so for that purpose you have studied in chemical equilibrium you have studied this in chemical equilibrium and in that you have studied very important parameter and that is nothing but equilibrium constant equilibrium constant and that is the key okay equilibrium constant that is the key so this k determine the uh, how fast uh, how far the reaction proceed okay higher the value of k faster will be the rate of reaction so this k determine how reaction or or to what extent that particular reaction proceed so that is decided by this k that is the equilibrium constant the second aspect about which 
the chemist they are very much interested and that is nothing but the feasibility of chemical reaction okay so this is what you have the second aspect and that is the feasibility of reaction feasibility of reaction so second aspect feasibility of reaction so this particular thing that also you have studied in chemical thermodynamics in chemical thermodynamics in chemical thermodynamics now in that particular chapter you have already studied that this delta g is very much important parameter so the value of delta g if it is uh, less than zero then you can say the particular reaction proceed in the forward direction so decrease in delta g that means gives free energy lead spontaneity so that delta g parameter that also explain under the given set of reaction condition the reaction will proceed or not if delta g is less than 0 that means reaction is spontaneous okay so that also important aspect about which the chemist they are very much interested to know and the last important aspect about which the chemists are very much interested to know and that is nothing but the rate of reaction that is nothing but the rate of reaction so in the today's particular topic we are basically dealing with the rate of reaction so third aspect third aspect and that is nothing but the rate of reaction okay so this rate about this rate of reaction we will study in detail in this particular topic that is chemical kinetics okay so question arises whether all types of reactions are studied under chemical kinetics or not so for that purpose you know that the chemical reactions on the basis of on the basis of rate of chemical reaction on the basis of rate of chemical reactions are classified into three types the first type that is very fast reaction so what do you mean by very fast reaction the reaction whose rate is very fast means in that particular reaction reactants are very quickly converted into product within a second so that type of reaction where rate is very fast for example uh, your uh, neutralization reaction between hcl and noh gives nacl plus water so this neutralization ionic reaction occur within a second so in chemical kinetics we are not studying the reactions whose rates are very very fast the second type of reaction that is on the basis of rate that is very slow reaction so what do you mean by very slow reaction the reaction whose rate is very slow for example rusting of iron so for the rusting complete rusting we require years to complete so it is not possible to measure the rate of such a type of such a slow reaction okay so that's why we also not deal with the very slow reaction that means you are dealing with moderate type of reactions moderate reactions so moderate means whose rate is in between slow and fast so in between slow and fast you are this category that is called as a moderate type of reaction so in chemical kinetics we are dealing with moderate reactions generally all molecular reactions are moderate type of reaction for example you have uh, formation of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen so this is one molecular reaction so for this particular reaction you can measure the rate of reaction okay that means i want to say you that in chemical kinetics we can study only those reactions in chemical kinetics we can study only those reactions in chemical kinetics we can study only those reactions whose rates are measurable whose rates are measurable okay so that type of reactions are mainly studied in chemical kinetics are you getting this so this is very important what kinds of reactions are mainly studied in chemical kinetics okay then 
we proceed further and uh, uh, once you know uh, what kind of reactions uh, you are studied you are going to study in chemical kinetics then we will discuss uh, the definition of your uh, chemical kinetics so what is chemical kinetics okay what is chemical kinetics now as you as i told you that if you have any chemical reaction like a gives b so for that particular reaction you know that if you have the uh, this one if you have, i if, if i plot graph like this and then so if i graph like this where do i have the concentration on this y axis and if your time on x axis now for this particular reaction as you know this is a reactant okay this is a reactant and this is product now what happen okay mainly mainly in kinetics we are dealing with the rate okay so mainly we are dealing with the rate of reaction rate of reaction and this rate of reaction rate of this reaction mainly depends upon two parameter the first one that is concentration and the second one that is time so that's why i have plotted here concentration against time that's why i have plotted here concentration against time now what happen generally for any chemical reaction as reaction start what happen to the concentration of reactant so concentration of reactant always decreases with the time okay so this is the curve for concentration of reactant so this is the curve for concentration of reactant so concentration of reactant always decreases with the time okay means once reaction start the reactant get consume during the reaction and concentration of that reactant decreases with the time and whatever amount of uh, reactant consume that much amount of product is form during the reaction so for the product you have curve like this so this is for product white curve this is for product that means this curve indicates that as time proceed concentration of product increases that means when time t is equal to 0 concentration of product is zero and when time t is equal to zero concentration of reactant is maximum are you getting this so this is basic graph that you should know before studying the rate of particular reaction because rate for per, for any chemical reaction it depends upon concentration and time now in this particular topic you are dealing with the rate of particular chemical reaction then as you know that this rate of chemical reaction in the previous class you have studied also this rate of reaction depends upon different factors so in this particular topic we are also discussing in detail about the different factors about the different factors that affect the rate of chemical reaction so here also the second parameter that is factors affecting factors affecting the rate of reaction so we will not study only the rate but also will study the different factors that affect the rate of chemical reaction and the third thing as you are dealing with the kinetics that means uh, you are dealing with the rate or speed or velocity that means you are going to study each and everything in detail about the chemical reaction and that's why how the reactants are getting converted into product so that each and everything about that particular uh, story that we are going to discuss in this particular top in this particular topic that means you are dealing with the mechanism mechanism of the particular process mechanism of that particular reaction okay mechanism you mean by the detailed path how the particular reaction proceed so this is also we are going to discuss in this particular chapter and depending on that 
we are going to define what do you mean by chemical kinetics okay what do you mean by chemical kinetics so i will write here the definition of chemical kinetics the the branch of the branch of physical chemistry the branch of physical chemistry the branch of physical chemistry which which deals with which deals with study of rate of reaction factors affecting rate and mechanism and mechanism of reaction okay so that particular branch that is called as chemical kinetics so in the next upcoming videos we will discuss about this rate of chemical reaction in detail till then thank you